most common type of planet around other stars is what's called a super-Earth. These super-Earths have atmospheres that are too thick, creating pressures too high to support life like us. So why does our small planet, with its exposed continents and relatively thin atmosphere, appear to be so rare? A new radical idea suggests the Earth could be a second-generation planet, built from the remains of a demolition derby between giant rocky worlds that once dominated the early solar system. Imagine the scene. 4.6 billion years ago, the planets in our solar system begin to form from a vast disk of dust and debris. Where the Earth sits today, a band of super-Earths are born. Vast worlds up to 10 times the mass of the Earth and with thick, crushing atmospheres. We believe that this first generation of planets was driven onto the surface of the young sun by the migration of our big bully in the solar system, Jupiter. A few million years after the birth of the solar system, the gravity of the protoplanetary disk slows Jupiter down, and it starts to spiral in towards the sun. As it moves inwards, it pushes waves of asteroids and debris towards the super-Earths. The incoming debris disturbs the orbits of the giant planets. Some may smash each other to pieces. Others are sent hurtling into the sun. Once the planetary carnage is over, Jupiter is tugged back out by the gravity of the newly formed Saturn. The solar system that is left behind is a place that's depleted in solid material and gaseous material. It's a place where, where debris will coalesce over hundreds of millions of years into the terrestrial planets that we have today. Planetary building starts over in the inner solar system, but the new planets feed on scraps, growing much smaller than their predecessors, with thinner atmospheres and lower pressures. Among them is our own planet, the Earth, a second-generation planet primed for life. 